Hi, welcome back. Welcome back to Tanya's Art. Today I'm going to do an angel angel wing pour. And I have um, mixed up a base paint. There are some bubbles in it again. So I will get them out. For the base I have used, let me see, I have notes so I can tell you. Uh, 231 uh, golden pouring medium. I have 230 gram of Flutrol, 35 grams of paint and 50 gram of water. Uh, not the consistency as a Dutch pour that is very thin, but a little, little amount. It leaves a trace, a little bit of a trace. That's for the base. And I use this paint from Pebbio, iridescent, iridescent silver. Then I have from Atesa the Pearl Turquoise, this one, and the consistency is almost the same, a little bit thicker. And I use uh, 50 grams of pouring medium from Golden and 60 grams of Flutrol and 12 grams of, um, what is it, paint, no water. And that is that color and in the next cup I use the same also Atesa Pearl Turquoise but I put a little bit of the Deco Art Ice Blue in it to make it a little bit darker. I think you can read it. This is for the outside of the wings. I will show you in a minute what I'm going to do and the iridescent green yellow also from Pebbio I use for the outside of the wings so this will be green and the inside will be blue but I'm using a split cup with uh, five compartments and at the middle I won't do any paint in it because if I pour uh, paint in the middle the the wings with the color uh, are going to the outside of the painting, uh, of the canvas. And I like to have it a little bit more centered in the middle so I can tilt a little bit more and spread the colors a little bit more. And the wings will hopefully, hopefully <laughs> make real wings, not just flat down. Uh, that is my idea anyway so i'm going to try that before i go and put the base paint i will um, put the colors in um i have to think because i have an idea that the on the side of the wings is a darker color than the the upside of the wings if i pronounce that right so on the top side lighter and then the darker uh, blue wings and let me see if i can do that correctly uh, the outside must be blue and the other side is dark so uh, i have to change my because the paint that will come out first is the on the side, so I have to use this one. Oh, I have to think. Ah, <laughs> I can do it. I'm pouring the darker first, blue first. I have to watch very carefully how much I put in. Uh, not really in the middle, but. I think that will be enough. A little bit more on this side. I hope. Oh, that doesn't matter. Yeah, that does it. I have to get out the drip away. And now the lighter color. Blue. I mixed up much too much too much paint, but I can use for another pour. That is not a problem. 
fill it up to the top. Oh no, I do it wrong. Uh, now the on the side, no, nah, it doesn't matter. Sorry guys, I am just trying to make something and you have an idea and then you make the video a little bit nervous because I didn't do a lot of videos yet. And um, English is not my uh, first language, so I'm doing the best that I can. But now the upper, the top side will be darker blue. Well, okay, that's, that's what, it is what it is. And now the green. And this side now. Okay, I will scrape my paint out. Empty my cup. Still a lot of paint in the cup. Yeah, well, it's all in the game, as I say. Fill it up. Okay, that's part one. I'll put you aside, make some room. I have still a lot of paint left, but I can make something else with it. Mm. Hopefully I get as much bubbles out of my paint as I can. I hope you I'm in frame with the, with the canvas. I put this aside and get started with my base. Bubbles out of it. There we go. I think the iridescent silver will be a nice combination with the iridescent colors. I hope I have enough. I think so. Okay, let's go. Spread it as good as I can to all the sides. And I have to go over it. Maybe it's better to paint the sides. I didn't think about that. I think I have lots of paint, so that is fine. And I always scrape my table. I have it flat on my table because I have to put the top side of my canvas up so the wings can flow down, the paint can slide down. I have to cover the sides, but that is not easy when it's flat. So, I think that will work. I can always work my sides later. And hopefully, Paint your sides, uh, guys. That is the best advice that I can uh, give you now. I see that I can... Uh, I have to do that the next time. But now it's too late. But I can manage it. Maybe I can tilt it a little. Um, I have to get a towel. 
Just a moment, please. Well, you think you are a good at organized and you get some things, but that's well, all in the game. Let me tilt it a little bit that way. So the paint is equal, equal on the whole canvas. And now it will get all over the side and that's a good. Pick it up again and tilt it my way, my side. Slippery on the, on the sides, but it will be okay. There it goes. Don't need much paint for the base. I think that will be enough. And I have to lay it flat because I'm going to lift up this side to make the wings. But first, a torch. And by the looks of it, there's a lot of bubbles. But I just mixed up my paint, I think, 60 minutes ago. Still see some some uh, air bubbles. I see some strange color in my paint. Get out of here! All right. I think that this is better. Looking good. Um, don't know what it is, but I still see some air bubbles, so I have to get rid of them. I hope you're doing well. It's Monday over here. I, I hope you have a nice weekend. You did have a nice weekend. And uh, in the weekend, I have started a uh, resin project and I will get that video uh, up in the morning, Tuesday morning or in the afternoon, I'm not sure yet, and try to do so much videos if I can, because I love painting and I love to share it with you. All right, that is done. Ah. Now the exciting part. Ooh. I hope it works. By the way, this is a, a 40 by 80 centimeters canvas. Now I can fix my side over here. Level two canvas. And now I, I'm going to get started because I don't want my paint slide down the bottom. So wish me luck, wish me luck, wish me luck. <laughs> there we go. Can you see it? I think you can. I hope you can. No, you're not. I, I'm, I'm going to see if you can see everything. Just a moment. Welcome back. I just uh, adjust the, the camera because you didn't see from this side where I'm going to pour. So let's get started. Ah, okay. Come on, blue paint, darker blue paint. There it is.
I have to concentrate. I see I'm going a little bit woggly woggly. I'm stop. Put my cup down. Put my cups under it. And hopefully. see something in my paint. Over there. Um, where are my squeezes? There it is. Well, I hope it works. It doesn't look... Oh man, what is that? Hmm. Right. Well. Just the way it is. I'm glad I didn't use a section, the middle section of my uh, split cup because otherwise there will be too much silver in the middle. Hopefully I can stretch this out and not ruin it. It's my first attempt and I'm doing the best that I can to make beautiful angel wings. Not too far, Tanya. Okay, back. I don't think it's the way I like it to be, but I'm give it a go. It is spreading, the wings are opening. I don't need as much base paint I see, but I didn't know how much paint I have to use. Okay, now back in the middle. Hopefully I can get it back in the middle and otherwise it's not a really good angel pour. <laughs> it's a lot of green and the thing that bothers me is that part. But, does it look like an angel wing? Well, I'm not sure. Too much green, I think. But I've learned a lesson. And this is not really straight. So, I think the consistency of my paint must be a lot thicker. And, um, well... That is the thing that I have and I cannot change it anymore. I don't think I am going to um, keep this painting. But learn from my mistakes. I think the consistency of the paint must be thicker. And I, I, I found that it's too much green and too little of the blue. So I have to figure out how to uh, fix that for the next pour. I'm going to make another one. I'm going to um, make sure that I can use this paint uh, for a another project. And I'm going to start over with um, a second attempt. So if you see this, don't do what I do. <laughs> um, but try it because it is really, really fun. To, okay, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. But maybe it's better to do a silver line in the middle because I'm not sure. I, I have to go and, and, and try again. So um, I hope you have uh, learned from my mistakes. And if you have some ideas to do it in a better way, just let me know. For now, I hope you have a great Monday and um, see you for the next video. Bye bye.